Hey guys, Ewan here, and in this video we're talking about the Raising Star. Rising Star? Is it Rising or Raising? I'm not sure. Anyways, I'm gonna leave these as bloopers. <laughs> we're gonna talk about Patrick Moore. Probably the most popular bodybuilder of this year or the last year, 2019. And one of the most improved bodybuilders along with uh, Brandon Curry. The first time I noticed him was this show right here, where he won the California Pro which qualified him for the Mr. Olympia, of course, and put him on that radar of ours. Although it wasn't much of a victory, really, the competition wasn't that strong. He ended up beating Josh Wade and Tim Boresheim, and these guys are not exactly top-notch bodybuilders. So even though he won the show, he wasn't exactly favored to be in the top 6 at the Mr. Olympia. And I didn't really like his physique that much, to be honest. I didn't find his proportions that appealing. But later, the Mr. Olympia, when he brought that conditioning that nobody else brought, pretty much, at the Mr. Olympia stage, I liked him. Immediately, when I saw him, I posted a photo of himself, and I said, and I said to you guys, this guy is the biggest surprise of the Mr. Olympia 2019. But who is Patrick Moore? Where is he coming from? Well, in this video, we're gonna do exactly that. We're gonna check him out, the way he was looking back. In 2013, for example, right here. This was USA Championships and about 7 years ago, it's 2013. And here you can see him, what he was looking like. He was smaller, he wasn't as conditioned as he is today. But the potential was there. His arms were huge, so I'm starting to believe that his arms are actually not oil. He either started with sight enhancing very early on, or he has very weird proportions and some strange looking and big arms which was, of course, more likely the case. Here you can see him 2014, a year later, where he was bigger, but not much more conditioned. This was at the MPC Formulation 1 Championships, of course, 2014. And this one right here is Phil Heath Classic, where he looked probably a little bit smaller and a little bit smoother. Not much of a progress anyways. Let's go to 2015 now. Now, here he gained some mass. Still wasn't, of course, as big as he is today, not even close, but his legs grew. And with, when he is a little bit smooth, his biceps do seem oilish, but I guess it's just the conditioning or the lack of. And overall, he wasn't able to get conditioned, really, in his early years, but he was progressively growing. Here is definitely uh, looking bigger than he looked two years before. So, a progress. Let's go with the next year. Oh, and by the way, this was 2015 MPC Nationals where Sergio Oliva Jr. won the heavyweights and overall and won his pro card. Patrick Moore was in the heavyweight division and I think he didn't even place this year. And then 2017 came, which was a really good year for Patrick Moore. He really matured, he really became a really good bodybuilder and his physique progressed to a level that was pro-worthy. He competed at the MPC USA Championships and also MPC Midway USA Championships and he won both of them. At the USA's, he was super heavyweight, where he won, and at the MPC Midway USA's, he was heavyweight, and he won. And this was enough for him to gain a pro card. The photo that you're watching right now is from the California State Pro. As a pro, he was 8th place. In 2018, of course, he didn't skip the year. He improved again. He was bigger. Not much more conditioned than the year before, but bigger for sure. But I really liked his 2018 New York Pro version that you're watching right here. I'm sure you're recognizing the lighting. He was really full. He was really full. He wasn't conditioned, but he was really full and I like this full look. But the placement wasn't really that great. Still, it was a huge show. Of course, it wasn't like California Pro where he was 8. It was New York Pro. It's probably third strongest show in the world. Well, at least it used to be back when it was the Night of Champions. Right now, it's arguable which is the third strongest show. It could be our classic Australia or something like that. Anyways, he was 13th place. I really like the look, but still he wasn't somebody the judges paid attention too much to. Later, next year, 2019, after being 8th place the year before the California Pro, now he won the damn thing. Very, very deservedly so. And he became one of the top guys of course, competing at the Mr. Olympia. Could have he been better than 10th place at the Mr. Olympia? 
it's questionable, it's a topic for a different video, it depends on how much do you value conditioning, but was he the most conditioned guy up there? He was one of the, it was Bonac, it was Harry Chopin and Patrick Moore, pretty much the only three guys who were uh, decently conditioned. So that's gonna do it for this quick little video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please like it. If you want to see more bodybuilding content, subscribe. All the best, guys, and bye-bye.